Hi y'all. Welcome to Can't Wait Smells Great. And we're fixing supper. So let me show you what I fixed. I don't know what to call it. Um, cabbage hamburger and throw it all together. <laughs> um, I actually looked up some recipes around the cabbage and um, I had some radicchio left that I didn't want to go bad. We got the storm coming and everything and I wanted to use it up. And um, Keto with Christy has a recipe for cracked slaw. So I kind of improvised on what she had because I didn't have all the ingredients that she uses. So this is my version, but I don't know. Cabbage and hamburger and throw it all in there. <laughs> Or I used to call everything Mama Goulash when I didn't know what to name stuff. So. <laughs> but enjoy my video. There's a lot of funnies because this is the first full length video of me cooking and everything. And um, I'll put some outtakes at the end. Um, so maybe you'll <laughs> get a laugh out of me. Um, anyway, I really enjoyed doing this video. And here we go. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using and I'm going to make um, cabbage hamburger and I'm using cabbage and radicchio because that's what I had in the refrigerator and didn't want it to go bad. I've got 80-20 um, ground beef and I've got some chili garlic sauce, black pepper, sea salt, um, I know soy sauce and it's got all the bad stuff in it so I just don't have the money yet to do the aminos like everybody's talking about getting minced onion, garlic powder, and ground ginger because I don't have fresh ginger. Okay, I'll see you back in a minute. Alright, so I'm going to start doing some of my measurements here and I made a list of what I'm going to be doing but if I get going and see that I need more of this or more of that or less of this or less of that um, <laughs> I'm one of those kinds of cooks that I just kind of play it by ear as I go. And of course, look when ginger is sealed. So, how do you get these things open? Ugh, lucky enough to get under that tab. Woo! Okie dokie, jokey. Alright, so, I'm going to use two teaspoons of ground ginger. Mm, maybe a teaspoon and a half. That looks like a lot. I don't want to overwhelm it too much. And then, let's see, garlic powder, I love garlic, so I'm going to go ahead and use two teaspoons of garlic powder, alright, and let's see, minced onion, I'm going to do one tablespoon. Maybe a little bit more. Just a little bit. I like onion. And I know onions have a little bit of carbs, but not a whole lot. So um, I'm going to do that. And then, of course, I'm going to salt and pepper it as I go and um, not really give you a, a measurement on that, but I'll just play with that as I go. Um, I'll be back with you as I do some more prep. Okay, so while I'm doing some more prep, I'm going to tell you about this recipe. Um, I had, like I said, I had the cabbage, oh, the knife's not sharp, um, cabbage and radicchio in the refrigerator, and we've got the storm coming, and, um, and I've had it a little while, so I just didn't want it to go bad, and so I looked up several different recipes um, using cabbage and um, keto with oh shoot I forgot her name Christy keto with Christy has a good recipe for uh, uh, crack slaw so that's kind of where the basis of this recipe came from I just you know I don't have all the ingredients that she does so I'm making my own version of, of, well, I'm calling it uh, 
cabbage and hamburger. <laughs> so I'm cutting up my cabbage right now. And see, um, little kind of small slices, you know, that way it's easy to bite down on. And I'm not really measuring I, you know, I had a portion of a, of a cabbage left. I, I fixed fried cabbage the other night. And so this is what I had left from it. And I've got 80-20 um, ground chuck. And I used some the other day when I made my, my cheeseburgers. So this will probably make, um, I don't know, I'm saying probably about eight servings or so. So my pastors have been really, really wonderful to me. They um, just wonderful, wonderful pastors. You know, if, if you have uh, a good church near you, get involved, you know, and, and become part of the church family. Um, if you live near here, um, our motto is, a church alive is worth the drive. And, um, you know, so it is definitely worth the drive. I love my church. Um, but anyway, um, Pastor Lou, uh, she's kind of my guinea pig. So when I try new things, I, I take stuff and let her try it. And um, <laughs> those meatballs, I know y'all heard me uh, talk about the feta cheese and um, sun-dried tomato or sun-dried tomato and feta cheese meatballs. I got that recipe from I Breathe I'm Hungry. <sighs> Let me tell you, I've got to do a video the next time I make those. But Pastor Lou and her family, all of them, just loved that. So that was a hit. And like I said, I made... I made too much because it's just me and I'm learning how to cook for myself and just by myself and, and it's hard. Now I'm using a head of radicchio. I've never ate radicchio before. Um, I had it for a recipe that I just didn't, it never caught my fancy to try it. And so I'm going to put it in here with this cabbage. It's really pretty. and. Um, Hopefully it'll bring a good flavor. I know uh, I've read about it and um, everything I've read talks about it being a um, a bitter vegetable. So hopefully it won't be too bad when I add the flavorings and seasonings to the meat. Let's see. So if y'all have used radicchio before and have good recipes for it, just you know, send me a message, send me a link. You know, I'm, I'm up for trying recipes and sharing recipes. You know, I need all the help I can get. Um, but the radicchio was hard to find. They didn't have it at Walmart. I finally found it at Kroger's, you know. And um, so, anyway, I'm making something with it so it doesn't go to waste. So I've made a big mess. <laughs> um... But there's my, oops, <laughs> I spilled some. But there's my um, cabbage and my radicchio. Isn't that pretty? That'd be pretty just to make a little slaw with it from there. But I'm going on with what I planned on, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, start my hamburger. And I'm using my electric fry pan. Um, I love my cast iron and everything. Um, sometimes it's just easier to put stuff in the... Um, electric skillet. So I'm going to work on um, browning up the beef a little bit and then I'll come back and show you some of the uh, other seasonings I'm going to add to it. Okay, so I got my hamburger um, browning and I added a little bit of bacon fat to it because, you know, every time I, um, I cook my bacon, I say my bacon grease. <laughs> so I got a little jar. I used to have a, um, well, I don't have the containers in here, but yeah, you can show you my dirty cabinet. Well, all my cabinet stuff is still in yonder, so I haven't refilled them. But I got this set, see, from was my great aunt Furby, and when she died, um, I was lucky enough to get this set from her, and the set had a a grease one that was grease and had a little grease a little trap across the top to catch little bits and stuff and 
Well, y'all know I've been in some bad relationships. I think I've told you about that with some abuse and different things. Well, one of them knew how much that grease trap thing meant to me, and they threw it away. So that really hurt. But it's just an object, you know. But, yeah, that hurt. So anyway, now I use a little jar. <laughs> and it works. Oh, it smells so good with that bacon grease in here. You know that, what, my caption, can't wait, smells great. <laughs> it's, it's already smelling great. Oh, me. All right. So... I'll uh, be back in just a minute after this uh, browns up a little bit. I've got Bo at my feet. <laughs> and he's, I dropped some radicchio just a little bit ago and I think he's eating it. <laughs> but it's good for dogs too. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so my, my beef is, let me show you. This camera, I don't know what it's doing. If somebody knows how to help me with the color on this camera, y'all let me know. It's a Canon. Um, but anyway, that's brown beef, and it actually looks normal, and um, it's browning away. All right, I hope I got you right. Okay, so now I'm going to add some other stuff. Where'd my paper go? All right, so I'm going to add the seasonings that I already got together, and I did... Uh, about a teaspoon and a half of ground ginger because I didn't have fresh ginger. I wish I did. I did about, uh, about a tablespoon and a quarter of um, minced onions and then I did two teaspoons of garlic powder. So I'm going to add that in while the hamburger's cooking. And then I'm going to add, let's see. I'm going to add two tablespoons of this chili sauce. It's chili garlic sauce. Um, I found it at Walmart. It smells really, really good. Kind of spicy smelling though. Um, it has zero carbs. I'm trying to look. And the ingredients. It's got chili, salt, garlic, distilled vinegar, potassium sorbate, sodium, and preservatives. <laughs> uh, but it's got chilies, salt, ajo, Oh, that's in, I'm trying to read in Spanish. <laughs> so, okay. I've read what's in there. All right, so I'm going to do two tablespoons. And this is an old Weight Watchers measure that I found in my cabinet or in my drawer. And it's got two tablespoons on one end and one tablespoon on the other. All right, um, and then I'm going to do two tablespoons of soy sauce. And again, when I get the money and can afford, I think Christy uses um, the coconut aminos. When I get the money to be able to afford that and find it, I'll buy some. But this, you know, soy sauce has wheat, soybeans, stuff, you know, and I'm trying to get away from that because I have fibromyalgia. And, you know, I need to get to the anti-inflammatory, um, get away from the corns and the soy, but the soy and vegetable oils and all that stuff. So I'm trying to do better. All right. So, ooh, this is smelling delicious already. Ooh, it popped on me. My goodness. Ooh, it smells delicious. It smells delicious. Oh, if y'all could just smell it. I'm not even going to try to show it to you on camera again because my camera... I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, and I already added salt and pepper. And again, you salt to your taste and pepper to your taste. You know, what I like and what you like might be different. But I did go kind of heavy on the salt because, and I'm going to re-salt it. Um, all right, so now that my meat's all browned and all the seasonings are in there, I'm going to add my cabbage and radicchio. See if I can do it without spilling anymore. Yay, I did it. 
All right, so let me show you. It still colors off, but that's what it looks like. So I'm going to work on stirring it a little bit, and then I'm going to put a lid on it. And just, you know how you do cabbage, you just, um, you let it, you know, cook down. And I can't tell if I'm centered or not, so I hope this video does good. <laughs> If it doesn't, I apologize. Maybe the next one I'll do. I'll definitely be working on getting better and better as I go along. It's just getting started, and I'm here by myself, and you know, doing the best I can every day, and always striving to be better. And I got dreams. I got big dreams. I was telling my daughter a little while ago. I was texting her, and I told her that I had new subscribers today. And y'all don't know how good that made me feel have some new subscribers y'all mean the world to me but uh i was telling my daughter about the new subscribers and stuff and she was so excited for me and i said yeah baby i got i got dreams <laughs> you know i'm 49 years old but i'm still a dreamer you know so we can all still dream together all right phone's ringing Bo, go get the phone. <laughs> he's not right here, so he's probably going to investigate. See what that noise was. Alright. So, I'm going to put some more salt. And more pepper. And I don't have a fancy pepper grinder and the fancy salt grinder and stuff. You know, those are luxury items. And Since I had my back surgery... You know, I'm not working, and everything I do, I have to think about, well, is this a want, or is this a have to have? So, you know, some things I have to just do without for a while. But one day, like I said, I'm a dreamer. One day, and, you know, if it's not in the good Lord's will, then it's not in the good Lord's will. I'll make do with what I got, because, you know... He's taking good care of me. And my daughter, I was talking about her a little bit ago. Well, I'm just continuously stirring this. I should should have covered it, but I'm just talking away. Um, that's kind of what I do when I'm in the kitchen. If somebody's here and I'm cooking supper, I just cook away and talk away at the same time. So, um, but my daughter, she's up in Wisconsin right now, and I'm so proud of her. She's a master electrician in the theater. And, you know, what that means is she's responsible for all the bulbs, all the wiring, um, everything in the theater, plus managing the, she does the stage lights and everything for whatever program they're doing. And then she runs the boards, you know, for changing the lights and everything as the program goes on. So she's pretty amazing. I'm proud of her. She's a little spitfire. And I think I told y'all in one of my other uh, videos, she's the one that started Keto First. So, Erin, I love you. Thank you for changing your lifestyle and learning to live healthy. Because I tell you what, that girl honestly lived on chicken nuggets and french fries for the longest time. And cheese pizza, or bacon pizza is what we used to get all the time for her and Shane. Bacon pizza, chicken nuggets, french fries, uh, if we went out, she liked French toast or pancakes. And, you know, if I cooked, cooked breakfast at home, she'd eat the bacon but wouldn't eat nothing else. So I'm so proud of her for stepping out and doing the new things. And as she's getting older, her taste buds are changing and she's doing so good. I'm proud of her. Can't you tell I'm proud of her? <laughs> oh, me. All right, this is looking good. We're really good. I'm ready to spoon it up now. We'll let some of these bigger pieces of cabbage cook a little bit more. All right. Okay, I think I found some lighting that this actually looks good. So I'm still frying. 
but I wanted to let y'all see that it was looking so good. some steam off of it but look at that oh my gosh Woo -wee. oh supper zone supper zone supper zone <laughs> it's supper time <laughs> okay so I got me a serving ready I tried to call the pastor and they didn't answer so I'll, I'll try them again in a little bit I wanted to try it first mmm Boy, that garlic, um, garlic chili sauce, mmm, mmm, gave it a wonderful, wonderful flavor. I might would have put more soy sauce in it to give it a little more of the, that flavor. I think that's missing that. Oh, something I didn't do, but Christy does in hers, she puts the liquid stevia, or sweetener drops. A lot of sugar in, or not sugar, but the substitute in hers. That might actually have been good. But this is delicious. It's real uh, savory. And it's got that hint of chili in the back. Lots of garlic flavor. It's really, really good. I hope you'll try it. I hope you like my recipe and my uh, little touches where I, you know, started with keto with Christy. And then I did my own because I didn't have some of the stuff that she had. So y'all enjoy it. Y'all have a wonderful week. My mouth's full. Sorry. <laughs> so thank y'all so much for visiting me at supper time. And I hope y'all will enjoy this recipe. And subscribe to my channel, share my channel, like my videos, and let me know you're there because I love the comments. I love talking back and forth. And um, someday maybe we can write real letters because I, I desperately love to write real things, you know, instead of typing all the time. So anyway, thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed evening. And see y'all later. So hello, y'all. I'm trying this with this up on a bunch of cans. We'll see what it does. Okay, so I'm trying to stack up stuff to get this camera up to where I got a good view. So let's see what I did. Oh, the woes of not having a tripod. So I have this stacked up on two cans and my cracker container and then my sugar, my little sugar packet container. So did I get the right height?